go, Miss V. A pleasure. Dexter Deshaun in the flesh. Ample indeed. <laughs> no, Let's roll. Don't do this. Mind if I ask you something right off the bank? Would you rather live in peace as Miss Nobody, die ripe, old, and smelling slightly of urine, or go down for all times in a blaze of glory smelling near like posies without seeing your 30th? This some sort of test? Eh, just a pet topic of mine. You mean... riddles? No, Miss V. Ontology. All right. Listen close. Scanning a serious job now. Playing gargantuan compared to smashing up a scav home. Hang on. Got a question of my own now. Why all this, Dex? Why me? Could have had Jackie or T-Bug sitting here. Could have just done this on comms. Call me old-fashioned, but I like to look anyone I do biz with in the eye. Had the pleasure of meeting the Jackster in the past. And sweet T-Bug helped this brother out two years ago. So here we are. Besides all that, got a special little pre-mission just for you. But we'll get to that. What's the job? There's this prototype tech. A biochip to be precise. The job's to grab it. Simple. Hmm. Guessing it belongs to a corp? Mm-hmm. Arasaka. Surely that's no problem. No, no problem. Just a death sentence. And seize Arasaka's turf. Nobody fucks with them here. What can I say, Miss V? High risk, high reward. First rule of the afterlife. Besides that, I'm no leadhead. Ain't gonna leave no trace for them to follow because we're gonna do this clean and on the hush-hush. We understand each other. You work this out? Got a plan? Two things. First, a conundrum with the Maelstrom boys. Needs active resolve in that. Second, to rendezvous. Simple. Client who brought us the job's anxious. She wants to parlay with one of the team. What's the issue needs resolving with Maelstrom? Got a beef? Slot in the shard. Got a classic tale for you. Psycho gang doing his thing two weeks back. Jumped a Militech convoy. Got away with the gear. Corp don't even know Maelstrom's involved. Now see, convoy was carrying the flathead, a prototype. And I need me that bit of high-grade military tech. Because if we don't get that bot, we don't get no soccer chip. And we sure as hell don't get no happily ever after. But don't get excited. It's a single-use toy. Now, I flat out purchased the damn thing from Maelstrom. Problem is, I did so from a gent went by the name of Brick. I say when. His brick was the leader. Three days after we'd sealed our deal, his friend and gangmate, one Simon Randall, aka Royce, plain dropped his ass. Royce is in charge now, and I got no way of knowing if he aimed to honor his predecessor's word. To add to this shit stream, one Meredith's doubt of Militech has developed an interest in said conflict. Who's the prima donna? Corpo agent, internal affairs. Been skidding around town asking after the convoy as if her life depended on finding it. The one lead she's got zip tied in her trunk. Stick up her ass ain't growing any shorter, so she must be getting desperate. Be wise to think how you could use that. Of course, to do so, you'll need that frazzled cat's info. Sending it now. Client, what's her thing? Why does she need to meet? Woman's name's Evelyn Parker. Betting her wasn't easy. Put the word out I was looking for any kind of intel. Right, and? Some brothers from Pacifica got back to me. Told me to stop looking. Anyway, our little client insisted on meeting someone with skin in the game. You know, who'll be there for it all. Yours truly will be remote. 
T-Bug ain't no people person, and Jaggy's only good at some things. I know you know what I mean. Pretty much leaves you. Think I got everything. Time I got to work. Well, that's just music to my ears. I'll set up the meet with Miss Parker at Lizzie's bar. Flathead, though, is gonna be all you. One more thing, Miss V. Quiet life or blaze of glory? Hmm? Later now. Jackster, talk to Dex. <laughs> yeah, Gordito's a big deal. Literally a nod, yeah? Guy certainly knows how to protect his biz. Wants to put us on a few small kinks. Prep work, I guess. Before lining us up a big job. There's this combat bot military prototype. Maelstrom clipped it, then Dex paid to take it off their hands just before the gang goons had to switch up in management. Right, right, heard about that. Royce versus Brick. Hostile takeover. Well, it sums it up. Dex wants us talking to Royce. Gave the deeds of some Militech agent, too, but don't know how much help she stands to be. <laughs> yeah, he don't sound thrilled. Royce, what do you know about him? He's fucking whack something special. Junkie snort junk. Royce snorts chrome. Then there's the other thing. Gotta meet the client who put the job on the table. Evelyn Parker. You? Well, what's Dex gonna do? Ride around in his limo, chat chicks up on the hollow? Parker wants to meet someone on the crew. Dex gave me the nod. They must know what he's doing. So, how you want to play this? Maelstrom or Parker? What's first? Parker. Think I ought to see her first. See what she's like, what she's after. Morale. In that case, I'll hit the all foods and put my nose to the ground. Sniff around. Hasta luego. Miss V, there a problem? Been wondering. This heist heralded in the triumphant return of Dex to Sean to the fixer's table. <laughs> Gotta admit, a few years from my seat has left me with a bit of an appetite. So you come dropping in with a bang. Deshaun ain't just a name, it's a brain. About time my clientele remember who they do biz with. But you got my word. You don't disappoint, you'll get your cut. With interest. Best get back to work. Be in touch. Everything's all good. Best to get back to work then. Be in touch. V, háblame. What'd you decide to do about Militech? Nothing yet. Ah, oh, good. My vote's to keep it that way, right? Waiting for you at All Foods, you know? Not getting any younger.
time now. Hey there, dollface. Interest you in a preem BD? Sure. In I go. Hold it. House rules first. There will be severe penalties for any unauthorized recording. No drugs, no groping. Someone catch your eye? You do not grab them. You find them in the catalog, ask for a BD, and get yourself a box. I really look that green to you. Like I don't know. Mm-hmm. Doors open. Have fun, doll. Welcome to Lizzie's. My, what a sweet little face you have. something up. When was the last time I fucked anything what, up? What, huh? Huh? Seriously? How far back you want me to go? Get you something. What's on the menu?
so curious, the name Lizzie's, that the owner? Not for a long while, no. And it's none too sweet a story. Oh, now I'm just flat interested. Real Lizzie ran a strip joint out of this place back in the day. Lizzie's bar. Girls were paid right, insured, even had decent security. Good spot, all in all. Nah, uh, stories of the golden days. Inevitable demise and the inevitable drink over sweet memories. Tall what makes the tall tales easier to swallow. So, what went wrong? Tiger Claws shot up Lizzie. Tiger beat one of Lizzie's girls real bad ones. No hesitation, Lizzie blasted the guy's balls off. The gang came back the next day. Liz was done. Tigers gave this place up to the Mox in the end, though, didn't they? Sort of. The Moxes had to make a deal with them. Luckily, they kept their heads organized quick. The big boss now is Susie Q. But the sign stayed up, out of respect. And biz booms to this day. Looking for Evelyn Parker. Know if she's here? <laughs> Who's asking? A big tipper. Generous when I get the answers I'm looking for. Appreciate the gesture, truly. But afraid I don't get paid to talk. Opposite, actually. It's all right, Mateo. I was waiting for this one. Evelyn Parker. I knew it was you as soon as you walked in. On. Only tequila I drink. <laughs> How would you know? I like to know everything about the people I work with. Either that or it was just a lucky guess. Why are we meeting here? Any particular reason? Actually, it doesn't seem much like your thing, this place. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll take that as a compliment. Come on. No place we can talk where ears won't prick up to listen. We'll be in the lounge, Mateo. Anyone asks, we're not here. So, what can a horny girl Nothing like you mean? Why don't you just tell me the truth? A little vanilla. I just told you. Dex had a load to say about you. Called you professional, effective, and trustworthy. I hope he wasn't overselling. Let's talk biz. I mean, it's nice, but I didn't come here to get my ego stroked. No, you're here to gain some knowledge. The life-changing kind. Well, now you got me all excited. Your target. I trust you know what it is. Relic. Secure your soul trinket. Key tech in the program, actually. We're tangling with Arasaka. Making this heist one dangerous, risky motherfucker. Mm-hmm. Arasaka's poured billions into personality transfer technology. But me, I just want the data on this one. The chip is tucked away inside Compeki Plaza. The hotel. You ever been? You know, just never rolled through that neighborhood. Damn shame. The fresh they serve is sinfully good. Chef must have made a deal with the devil. So where's this chip hiding, exactly? In a suite on the top floor. The room's occupied by Yorinobu Arasaka. Yorinobu Arasaka? He's in town? Don't you read the scream sheets? The media couldn't get enough of Yori coming to Night City. It was all over the headlines. Anyway, he's heir apparent to the Arasaka Empire. Saburo Arasaka's only surviving son. 
What, so Arasaka Jr. is planning to grab the reins while in Night City? Only a handful of people in Night City know what the Arasaka's real plans are. Telling me you're one of them? Look, if you've got any spare aces up your sleeve, now's the time to show them. Now this should make your tits perk up. Yorinobu recently swiped the chip from an Arasaka laboratory. He's made a deal with Netwatch, aims to sell it to them. Have you spotted my ace yet, or do I need to spell things out? So what's Yorinobu do to walk away with? Unimportant. You focus on the biochip. What could cyberspace's watchers and protectors offer him? Intelligence on his enemies? That doesn't matter in the least. Because you'll make sure the transaction never happens and I get the chip. Fine. So no Arasaka security on the device because Yorinobu whisked it away in secret. Now where's he hiding it? Well, likely in a specialized container. One that mimics an organic neural environment. On the outside, it looks like an ordinary briefcase. And the case is? You'll see for yourself soon enough. Provided we're done gossiping about the Arasakas. What else do you know about Yorinobu? Quite a bit, actually. He studied finance and biotech in Tokyo. <laughs> Probably didn't have a choice in the matter, come to think of it. Saburo was grooming him to be his successor. But then Yorinobu vanished to chase his own dreams. Cut himself off from the corp for years. Long story short, though the black sheep returned, the bitter taste remained. But that's only one side of him. There's another. An intelligent man who has always walked his own path, and so has his own designs on the corp. Could be another power-hungry corpo, Dick. Like so many others. <laughs> Ever tried to imagine what life might be like for an Emperor's son? You have everything, yet you are no one. Nothing. At least as long as you remain in Saburo Arasaka's shadow. I... sympathize. It's a vulnerability I understand well. And one you plan to exploit fully. Okay, what's next? Now comes the best part. Follow me. Got something for you. Should help you plan. Brain dance from Compeki Plaza. How's a brain dance supposed to help? Need facts, not thrills. I think BDs are only good for fondling virtual tits. Jacking off too in those boxes. No. It can be a very useful tool. Okay, Mom. Good for analyzing details, human perception, even boosted. Doesn't grasp exactly what you need. So what's on the tape? Yorinobu's suite. The glorious interior. You'll need to locate the relic yourself. Hope I grabbed enough detail to make that possible. Hold up. You mean to say you recorded this? Mm-hmm. BD rec implant. Why, you object? Supposed to be Yorinobu's pad on the tape. Means you were inside. You, uh, know each other? How else could I get all this intel? I know him pretty well, actually. We have an arrangement. Strictly business. Suits us both, I think. Let's see this brain dance. Judy will help. She's a mox, too. Besides, we go back, uh, years. V, this is important. Judy's always been there for me. What? Always helped out. It's hard to say. I this trust her. For sure, okay? But she's a mox. Yeah, yeah, not yeah, the latest yeah. member all of your right, crew. All right, all right. Try not to forget. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So all you'll right. be a good girl, tread lightly, and keep that tongue on a leash. Relax. Believe it or not, I'm no stranger to tact. In biz or life.
What are you doing? This is V. She's here for that BD role. And V, this is Judy. Best brain dance editor I know. Enough already. Gonna make me barf. Impressive looking setup. Need all this to process brain dances? Mm-hmm. Analyzers, sensory dig amps, acoustic and emotive wave monitors, facial expression transmitters. <clears throat> Judy. All right, all right. Compiled your BDF. What do you think? Will it do? Still pretty raw, but yeah, ought to do. Mm-hmm. V needs to get deep inside. That's most important. So, let's calibrate. Tune it to her. Believe me, I've dealt with worse. Should see the jig-jig street porn we gotta contend with sometimes. So, we drop the inside, let her look, let her rummage around, right? How about it, V? Raw brain dance. Ever taken a dip before? Think I can handle it. Let's just do this. Right-o. Sit down, settle in, and we'll get you going. Create your sensory profile first. Okay, hit me. Just promise me it won't hurt. It won't. Not this time. Now sit still, look at me. Gonna run the analysis soft. Should feel a slight tingle. Mm hmm. Okay, now let's set the optics and other sensory sigs. Look smack into these two screens. Pretend it's an eye exam. Am I gonna have to do this calibration dance every time? Not necessarily, but it's worth the wait. Give me two more minutes and you'll see exactly what BD analysis is capable of. One more sec. Need to get the pain receptor limiters in. Okay. All set. You need to test your profile first. Tossing in a sample BD. You can use it to get to know the editor. Now let me see. Where could we... Can't you just use my recording? Why are we wasting time? So we don't risk our necks? Sides won't take a sec. Got something here. Should be perfect. Boot it up. Mm-hmm. Let me give you the tailored version first. Let you get your bearings. And we'll jump into editing mode. Be diving in in three, two, one. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch the cash, get out. And we sell the BD to those psycho freaks from the studio. Got it, got it. And remember, everything on full blast. They'll spot us extra for a wicked adrenaline high. Okay, on you go. Everybody! On the 
grab. I want to see you kissing the flooring. Money. Now, or I will fucking drop you, I swear to God. Whoa. Yeah. Hey. Uh, uh, now, before I blow your fucking head off. Intense shock. I can still feel it. I remember. Fuck. That last second. Could have warned me how much it hurts to die. Trust me, real death hurts much, much more. Not so sure about that. You'll be fine. Got everything set up? Let's switch over to editing mode. I'll sever the link to the BD Roller's sensory array. You'll be able to look around freely. Whole scene's yours. Full cam control and analysis mode, so move around, zoom in and out, whatever else you come up with. Think of it as your own little sandbox. So, analysis mode, you control playback. Can even pause when you feel the need. Then you use the editor console to unpause. Try it. Plan simple. Do nothing. Odd. Don't get creative. You go in. Snatch the cash. Get out. And we sell the BD to those psycho freaks from the studio. Got it, got it. Dream as hell, right? Well, that's not all. You can speed things up or rewind, whatever you like. Give it a try. Rewind. Roll it back got to got the got top. I... You what? Try fast forwarding a bit. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't agree. You go in, session, get out, and reset. Okay. You can also reset the recording. That'll take you right back to the beginning. Try it. Now for some fun. This here's why you came in the first place. In analysis mode, you get to view and even scan details of the enviro recorded by the BD roller. Focus on the heat, the gun this gonk gets from his buddy at the beginning. Now scan it. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch the cash, get out. And we sell the BD to those psycho freaks from the studio. Got it, got it. And remember, everything on full blast. They'll spot us extra for a wicked adrenaline high. Oh, 
Okay, on you go. Okay, right here. Move on. Now heads up. In analysis mode, you can ferret out background noise and conversations if the roller got close enough. This tech records everything, every little detail, even the sights and sounds the roller was never aware of. To see the sources of the recorded sensory signals, switch to the audio layer in the editor. Go ahead and try that now. Okay, good. Now you should see several sound signatures in the store. Choose one and hone in on it. Okay, fuck! On your car! Ah, little shitheads! Go restock. I'll take the register. How about you suck a bag of dicks, eh? So, any thoughts? <laughs> Believable. Seriously, like it was happening right next to me. It's how BD recording implants work. They pick up everything, all the elements in the background. Then an editor tweaks them, makes them pop. Keep playing with the sound, explore it a bit. We'll move on when you get bored. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch the cash, get out, and we sell the... Sometimes you can analyze extra layers in the raw. Stuff the rollers cyberware picked up. Like what? Ev's got Kiroshi optics that grab infrared. Meaning you should be able to grab heat signatures from her recording. Huh. Hella nice. Now let's wait till the guy punches out the gunk at the counter. BD to those psycho freaks from the studio. Got it, got it. And everything on board. Come on, come on.
I'll take the register. How about you suck a bag of dicks, eh? on peeps too. Walk up to the wounded chick. Try scanning her. All right, next thing. Scroll forward to the part where our artist gets a lead injection. Now, or I will fucking drop you, I swear to God! Whoa, yeah, hey! Uh, uh, now, before I blow your fucking head off! See that? They shot him and he never saw it coming. But you will. Here it comes. My favorite part of the game. See the blinking thing over the entrance? Surveillance cam. Must have caught our shooter. You'll see in a sec. Cam feeds to the screen behind the clerk. Roll back to where the screen's in the kid's field of vision, then scan it. His own chumba shot him. Probably planned to all along. Must have got a nice slice of cred on the black market for a BD like this. BD freaks are ready to pay a preem for a real flatline. Anyway, if you've seen enough, you can exit. Yeah, it's impressive, right? It's too bad most of the BDs we do here are only good for flogging the log. Anyway, you ready to do this? Look at your wreck? I don't know. I... Ugh, let's take a break. Still feel like that kid when... <sighs> yeah. Think I'm done. V, there's no time. Get it together, please. Okay. Okay. <sighs> Go ahead. Just need T-Bug to link in. Whoa, 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 who? Runner for my crew. Security specialist. She'll tell me what to look for while we analyze. No problem, I hope. Actually, it is a problem. Not what we agreed, Ev. Relax, Judy. Everything will be fine. You don't quite grasp the risks I took by letting you in here. What I'm risking poking around with this stuff. We're all taking risks here. That's the job. So either T-Bug patches in, or I'm on my way out. Judy, please. Fine. Call her. Let's get this over with. Hey, V. What's happening? Bug, listen. I got some useful footage from Konpeki Plaza. It's a brain dance. Konpeki? Oh, thought as much. Someone there with you? Unimportant bug. Please focus. Need your help. Got no clue what I'm supposed to look for once I'm in. All right, see if I can walk you through it. Jacking it to your tech now. Mm, you've got to give me access. Opening port 1779. Secure protocol? Good, I'm going in. Should be getting my request now. Got it. You ready? A millisec. Okay. 
Connection confirmed. Now some quick tip ice, and we're clear. Ready to dance. Fire her up, Judy. Alright, V. Eyes open. Gotta find out where Yurinobu is keeping the relic. You... I said, no. They'll have my head for this. Then, you shall perish for good cause. But, uh, Make yourself comfortable. I need a minute. Listen in on that conversation, V. Could be something important. The name Marina was Mark Foster. Head. See the... The hem... Valid. Un is I said, no. They'll have my head for this. Then, you shall perish for good cause. But uh, make yourself comfortable. I need a minute to finish. We shall see soon enough. My father's a tired, visionless old graybeard who thinks nothing will change and he'll live forever in his tiny frozen bubble. You will listen to this. Saburo is an adult wow. despot. Champagne's utterly decent. Removed from reality, the taste boosted somehow? Stuck in no, some fossilized vision of a Same world bubble, you'll that be no longer in real space exists. Soon of a world that may never have existed. We have not seen eye to eye for the past 20 years. I am quite sure we won now. Not it. Enough. Hmm, hung up. Go back to when they first start talking. Need to hear the whole thing. Sorry to make you wait. Yeah, we should get Mr. Ross. Here in a drone, ventilation and cooling, servers, gotta be. Fancy doodads in here need to be controlled. Good cause. But uh, make yourself comfortable. I need a minute to finish. I need a minute to finish. The program is still in the trial phase. We cannot take it to market as is. We shall see soon enough. Please speak with your father. He's taken a particular interest in this project. He can certainly explain the risks. My father's a tired, visionless old graybeard who thinks nothing will change. And he'll live forever in his tiny 
frozen bubble. I should not even be listening to such things. You will listen to this. Saburo is an adult despot, utterly removed from reality. Stuck in some fossilized vision of a world that no longer exists. Of a world that may never have existed. We have not seen eye to eye for the past 20 years. I am quite sure we want now. Read the documentation carefully. The relic requires specific storage conditions. You must not write them. Enough. Heard that? Relic docs gotta be around here somewhere. Look for them. Sorry to make you wait. Business can be stupid. Hmm. It wasn't long. Not even long enough for me to grow bored. Is everything all right? You seem tense, edgy. A moment. It will pass. Hmm. I can get to work on that. Just one condition. You wish to make demands of me. Only one. Focus. Me. Oh, got any candy left? Stuff was pretty fun last time. Bedroom, nightstand. I've got an idea. Be right back. Very nice. But come here already. Just a sec. Looking for the perfect thing. Ah, uh, you like this. Any candy left? It's probably nice. Oh, got any candy left? Steph was the best. It's probably nice. Oh, got any candy left? Probably nice. Can't nice. Oh, got any candy left? Steph was pretty fun last time. Bedroom. Night step. I've got an idea. Be right back. Very nice, but come here already. Just a sec. Looking for the perfect giver for the meat. That's of me. Only one. Focus. Automated turrets. Latest scanner model. Systems all connected to the server. Can you shut them off? Externally? No way. Gotta get in, check out how they link into the system first. Shit, camera's packed with new tech. Motion sensors, heat sig activators, IFF. You skilled enough to kill it all? Mucho more than enough. Just need access to their subnet. Got any candy left? That was pretty. Loaded. Safety's on. Good to know, though. Once you're in there, don't forget about that iron. I'm 
Alarm firmware is fresh, but saw excited birds chirping on a BBS. Something about lots of seeds falling to this sieve. Let me generate keys. I can forge their six. Mm-hmm. Looks like all their security systems are linked to the hotel subnet. We need the flathead. No other way to shut down these systems. Can't get around them ourselves? Nope. At least I'm fresh out of ideas. I felt her fear. But uh, make yourself comfortable. Sure got it under control quick. Yeah. The program is still in the trial phase. We cannot take it. Business. <laughs> Just a sec. Keep it perfectly. Look at this. Look, it it's like I'm really V, eye on the prize. Focus. Manual details a special tip controlled container. Relic needs to be kept real cool. So chips gotta stay in the freezer. Yep, could damage it otherwise. Okay, switch on thermal layer detection in the editor. Should be easier to spot where your Nobu's keeping the chip. <laughs> 